Okay, so let's go ahead and just give me your full names, if you would, please, how to pronounce them and so on, and what you do. My full name is Todd Howe, and I play guitar in the box for that one. I'm Adam Harrison, and I play bass guitar. And I'm Nathan Nicholson, I'm the singer and rhythm guitarist. Uh, Piers here, I play drums. Okay. How did you guys get together? Let's start right there. How did you meet? We, um, I, I went to Florida State University, uh, and I did a study abroad program in 2000, and went over to London, met Todd. He had just moved over from Adelaide, and uh, we, we uh, found each other on like a musician seeking musicians kind of message board. We played a few acoustic gigs around London and um, eventually wanted to record and needed a band. And um, Piers uh, and Adam were, uh, were they were at a school called the London Music School, which is kind of a contemporary music college. And they were in a band together. And um, I think that was kind of drawing to a close, so they wanted to do some more band work as well. So we met that way. And in all instances, we were the only ones to reply. Um, so. Yeah, mm. yeah. We were, it was kind of stuck with each yeah. other. It was uh, it wasn't out of like friendship to begin with, but it, it still become, isn't. Yeah, it still isn't. No friendship. No, it's it's more of like a family that way, I think, because um, you don't pick who your uh, family is, and uh, and it's we've we've gone through a lot together, so we're very close. Any hesitation though with the token American here? No, not no. at all. In fact, my wife's American. I'm a, I'm a. I don't know what the the true what, what, what's what's the opposite thing to anglophile? What's a, an Americanophile? Or, I don't know. He sings okay, so I kind of. I like Americans. Mm. <clears throat> so now, I want to I want to know kind of where you were up until now. I mean, I know you're like total indie. The internet has played a very important part mm. uh, in your career, but what was kind of the progression to where we are today? Well. I mean, we uh, around 2003, 2004, we were we were signed to Mercury, so a major uh, for our first record um, called Exits, which came out in 2005, and um, that's pretty much where a, a whole bout of bad luck seemed to come our way. I mean, the label imploded um, that was that was working with us uh, with Mercury, and we were pretty much um, us and a, a load of other bands had dropped the week of release. Of that first record, and it's pretty much from then um, we decided to, you know, uh, put our heads down and really, you know, decide whether we wanted to make a go of it and have another crack at it. And we set about recording, writing the next record, and didn't want to resurface until we had something of of quality. And 2009, the second record came out, so it's literally just almost four years between record releases. Um, and we put the second album out independently. So the money came out of your pocket, right? I mean, we, well, we, we got little bits of funding, but one of the reasons it took so long was that we had to work day jobs and record it in, in little pieces, whereas a, whereas a band that's on a label tends to get a big recording session that lasts many weeks and they can get it done in a, in a lump. It, it took us a lot of hard, hard graft and a long time recording it ourselves, yeah. But you've had huge success on the internet, or on iTunes. We, uh, yeah, iTunes has been kind of uh, quite good for us. Um, otherwise, I don't think we'd have ever been able to release it. I mean, we actually finished Union about two years, or a year and a half before we actually released it. And that was down to um, the fact that we didn't really know how to get it out there. We couldn't really... Um, uh, I guess we weren't that versed, and that's when we met our manager, Sumit, and he um, he really helped us, uh, kind of guided us in the right direction. A guy from Apple, um, at iTunes, uh, was a big fan, and uh, he kind of offered to help us out and release the um, release the record through them. So um, mm. we really benefited from just kind of happening happening to have fans in in the good in good places. 